there is 9.6 now we're going to be leasing a vehicle uh, we need to know the difference between leasing a vehicle and renting a vehicle uh, leasing has different rules and different reasons by the way so you could you know if you want to lease a car for example you have to have a reason for it and usually usually leasing it could go from months to years right but if you want to rent a car usually you, you rent it for a couple of days for a day for a week whatever so but for this section we're going to be talking about both and both anyway but for the this section we're going to be talking about the leasing first uh, uh, there's something called closed end lease and open end lease uh, a closed uh, end lease is when you lease a car and then you decide to return it after so many let's say a couple of years right now an open end lease you have an option of buying the car so if you if you want to buy it you could buy it then the, the company who leased the car to you they're gonna calculate how much you paid and how much is the car's worth and and all that and they and you pay the difference so but the equation for leasing a car now the leasing of a car cost will be the number of payments how many payments you're going to be paying the amount of each payment plus you're going to be de paying deposits something called title fee and a license fee okay those are you know for government usually title fee and license fee now an example here you can see there's an example that they're showing you here that the monthly payment is going to be 450 you're going to be doing it for 36 months which is three years and you're going to pay a deposit at the beginning which is two thousand dollars plus a title lease of uh, 80 uh, title fees of uh, 80 dollars and license fee which is 240 so the car will cost you eighteen thousand five hundred twenty dollars so that's for three years right and you could say well you know, i could have bought the car but you, you know probably the price of the car would be a lot higher than this you know i don't know it just depends on the type of a car and uh, you'll, you'll go through the hassle of reselling it and and all if you want to give it back uh, let's say if you are you are working for a company and you're leaving after certain years now the next section will be about renting a vehicle renting a vehicle is different than leasing so uh, the daily cost of renting a car will be for example 49 dollars or whatever and then we're going to be talking about uh, the total uh, cost of the car divide, divide and then we divide it by the number of miles then you get cost per mile so those two sections will be doing two different things now the next one will be about chapter 10 chapter 10 is buying a house uh, there's a mortgage loan that you need to pay you know uh, which is how, how much money you took from the bank that's what a mortgage means and then you have to do the monthly payments and the interest how much uh, you're paying per month uh, this is your interest rate and uh, we'll do this by the way we can use you use a formula we're not going to use the table here by the way okay so this is going to be the second section about uh, interest payment this is our monthly payment this is already we already used this one uh, in chapter eight and because it's the same same formula a different uh, reasoning for it but this is a formula okay guys so talk to you later. Bye-bye.